Have you ever wondered what the most dangerous insects in the world are? Today, we're diving into a world where size doesn't matter, and the smallest creatures can pack the deadliest punch. Our ranking criteria, the toxicity of their venom, their level of aggression, and how much they impact human health and life. From the buzzing wings of the Setsi fly to the lethal bite of the Black Widow, we're counting down the top 10 most dangerous insects. Are you ready to meet these tiny creatures that can cause a big havoc? Buckle up because we're starting with number 10, the Tsetse fly. Kicking off our countdown at number 10, we have the Tsetse fly. This little insect might not look like much, but don't let its size fool you. The Tsetse fly is native to Africa, thriving in the warm savanna and woodland environments. But what makes this fly so dangerous? Well, it's all in its bite. The Tsetse fly is a vector for the transmission of African sleeping sickness, a disease that affects both humans and animals. This sickness, if left untreated, can be fatal. The fly's bite transmits a parasite into the bloodstream, which then multiplies and spreads throughout the body, causing a range of symptoms from fever and headaches, to changes in behavior and sleep patterns. In Africa, where the Tsetse fly is prevalent, it has a significant impact on public health causing severe illness and even death. The Tsetse fly proves that even the smallest creatures can be deadly. Now let's move on to number 9. The Flea. Moving on to number 9, we have the flea. This tiny creature, barely visible to the naked eye, is much more than a simple nuisance. The flea is a cosmopolitan insect, meaning it can be found all over the world, from urban centers to the wild outdoors. But why is the flea so dangerous? It's not just the itchy bites they leave behind. Fleas are carriers of various diseases, the most infamous being the bubonic plague, which wiped out a third of Europe's population during the 14th century. Fleas transmit this deadly disease from rodents to humans, a testament to their role as dangerous vectors. Despite their small size, fleas have a significant impact on public health. Their hardy nature and rapid reproduction rate make them a persistent threat, especially in areas with poor sanitation and high rodent populations. Don't underestimate the flea. Now let's fly to Australia to meet our number 8, the Australian moth. At number 8, we find the Australian moth. Hailing from the land of kangaroos and koalas, this seemingly harmless creature holds a surprising secret. The Australian moth, or more specifically the Australian white cedar moth, is not your average garden variety insect. It's a creature that demands respect, not for its size or its flight speed, but for something far more sinister. What makes this moth dangerous are its venomous spines. Yes, you heard it right, venomous spines on a moth. These spines are not for show, they can inject a venom powerful enough to cause severe pain and inflammation. If you accidentally brush against one of these moths, you're in for a world of hurt. These moths are found in abundance in the Australian wild, lurking in the trees, waiting for an unsuspecting passerby. They're a stark reminder that even the smallest creatures can pack a punch, if underestimated. From down under we're moving to South America for our number 7, the bullet ant. Next on our list at number 7, is the bullet ant. This formidable insect, native to the rainforests of Central and South America, has earned its fearsome reputation and its name, not from its size or appearance, but from its venomous sting. Now don't let its relatively humble size fool you, the bullet ant might be just over an inch long but its sting is renowned as one of the most painful in the insect kingdom. The pain has been compared to, you guessed it, being shot by a bullet. But that's not all. This excruciating pain can last for up to 24 hours. The bullet ant's venom contains a powerful neurotoxin called ponerotoxin. It can cause symptoms ranging from swelling and redness to fever and even cardiac irregularities in severe cases. Despite its terrifying sting, the bullet ant is not typically aggressive unless provoked. So let's keep it that way, shall we? From the bullet ant we're moving to another fiery creature, at number 6 we have the fire ant. At number 6 we have the fire ant. This tiny terror known for its fiery red hue, is a force to be reckoned with. Native to South America but now found worldwide, these ants have a knack for survival, thriving in almost any condition. What makes the fire ant so dangerous? It's all in the sting. Fire ants are aggressive defenders of their colonies and they don't hesitate to attack anything they perceive as a threat. Unlike most ants, fire ants sting their victims, injecting a venom that causes intense pain, much like a fireburn, hence their name. Their venom can cause severe allergic reactions in some individuals, leading to serious health complications. In large numbers, which is often the case with ant colonies, fire ants can be extremely dangerous. They are known to attack en masse, overwhelming their victims with sheer numbers and relentless stinging. 
from the fire ant, we're moving to a creature with a deceivingly beautiful name. At number 5 we have the Lonomia Obliqua. At number 5 we have the Lonomia Obliqua. This creature is certainly not one to be taken lightly. Found primarily in South America, this moth is as dangerous as it is deceptive. With its intricate patterns, it's a master of camouflage, blending seamlessly into tree bark and fallen leaves. But don't let its innocent appearance fool you. The Lonomia Obliqua is notorious for its venomous bristles. A mere brush against these bristles can inject a potent toxin that can cause severe bleeding and in some cases even kidney failure. Imagine a creature so small, yet its impact can be life-altering. The Lonomia Obliqua is a stark reminder of the power and potential peril in the insect world. Its venomous bristles serve as a potent defense mechanism, making it one of the most dangerous insects lurking in the forests of South America. From the Lonomia Obliqua, we're moving to a creature that's a real giant in the insect world. At number 4 we have the Asian Giant Hornet. At number 4, we have the Asian Giant Hornet. This insect is the largest hornet species on the planet, and it's as dangerous as it is impressive. The Asian Giant Hornet makes its home primarily in East Asia, but its range is expanding, and it's been spotted in places it's never been before. This hornet's sheer size is intimidating but it's the venom that really sets it apart. A single sting from an Asian giant hornet can cause severe pain and swelling, and the venom is potent enough to dissolve human tissue. But what makes this creature even more terrifying is its aggressive behavior. When threatened, Asian giant hornets don't just sting once, they attack repeatedly, injecting their venom over and over. Imagine this. You're out for a hike, and you accidentally disturb a nest of these hornets. You're not just dealing with one hornet, but an entire swarm each one capable of causing serious harm. From the Asian giant hornet, we're moving to a creature that's a real pest. At number 3, we have the mosquito. At number 3, we have the mosquito. A creature so tiny, yet so deadly. Mosquitoes are found worldwide but they are especially prevalent in tropical and subtropical regions. They thrive in warm, humid environments, often near bodies of stagnant water where they lay their eggs. But why are mosquitoes dangerous? The answer lies in their feeding habits. Female mosquitoes are bloodsuckers, and when they bite, they can transmit deadly diseases. They are the primary vectors for malaria, a disease that impacts hundreds of millions of people each year. But that's not all. Mosquitoes also spread the Zika virus, a cause of severe birth defects and dengue fever, which can be fatal if not treated promptly. So remember, while mosquitoes may seem like mere nuisances with their buzzing and biting, their impact on global health is profound. From the mosquito, we're moving to a creature that's a real nightmare. At number 2, we have the salpuga. At number 2, we have the salpuga. This arachnid, often mistaken for a spider, holds its place of infamy due to its potent venom and aggressive nature. The salpuga, also known as the camel spider or wind scorpion, is usually found in desert environments. Its name, wind scorpion, stems from its incredible speed, which it uses to hunt its prey. This creature is feared not only for its speed, but also for its venomous bite. Unlike many other venomous creatures, the salpuga is not shy about using its venom. When threatened, it will bite, delivering a painful venom that, while not lethal to humans, can cause severe pain and discomfort. The salpuga's aggressive behavior, combined with its potent venom, makes it a creature to be wary of. It's a reminder of the hidden dangers lurking even in the most barren of landscapes. From the salpuga, we're moving to the most dangerous insect in the world. At number 1, we have the Black Widow. At number 1, we have the Black Widow. The Black Widow spider with its distinctive red hourglass marking is a creature of nightmares. Found primarily in North America but also spotted in various parts of the globe, the Black Widow has earned its deadly reputation. The Black Widow is not aggressive by nature but when threatened it delivers a venomous bite that is 15 times more potent than that of a rattlesnake. The venom, a potent neurotoxin, can cause severe muscle pain, abdominal cramps, excessive sweating, and even heart palpitations. While deaths are rare, the symptoms are severe enough to warrant immediate medical attention. Ironically, the Black Widow got its name from the female's occasional habit of devouring the male after mating. This however is less common than you might think. Most of the time the males escape unscathed. So there you have it, the top 10 most dangerous insects in the world. Remember, sometimes the smallest creatures can be the deadliest. Stay safe out there.